Scott, thank you for joining me uh, on Fans United. No problem. Um, you were a player back in the day, were you? Player. <laughs> average. Average. Average, average at best. <laughs> Goalie? Uh, yeah. I never liked playing a goal, but... You never liked it? No, nah, because I, I always liked playing outfield. Yeah, but you were pretty shit. Yeah, I, I could kick a ball. <laughs> but, no, nah, no, nah, do you know what? I, I think if I was six, maybe two inches taller, six stone lighter, I'm gonna do all Six right. stone, you mean jealous though, yeah? No, no, not, not now. Oh, six, back, six, back, six, back, back then. <laughs> um, I was gonna say, uh, you um, were a goalie. Yeah. What age did you stop playing? What, what age did you just stop playing? Uh, 15, I think. You stopped playing 15? Stopped playing competitive football. I, was, I always played football. I yeah, yeah. I love playing football now. Yeah, and then obviously I started again as an adult, played a few Sunday league games. Would Sunday you say you're now retired? No, I've, I've played for someone if they asked me to play. Okay, so how long has it been since you last played? Three years. Four years, yeah. And do you, do you want to get back into it? I want to play five side just to have a kick around with my mate. But do you know what? Sunday league football just isn't... It, it's, it's compet I love competitiveness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when, obviously, too many people go on the drink, they don't play. I hate, because I'm quite a competitive person, mm -hmm. I hate if people turn up and they're all pissing around or... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, you know, not in... And again, I don't like playing with really poor footballers. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've done for the last, for the last right, three okay. years. I did it. They were poor. So, so you're cut above the rest, then. You're PR. No, 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 no. no. I don't think I am. No. But I don't. I hate this why I don't really watch women's football because I don't like the standard. Okay. I like to watch standard, good standard football. Okay. And I'd want to play at good standard. We're not going to start the women's football round. No. What, what, what I want to dive into you with uh, Scott is gambling. Now, yeah. obviously, we go back a long time, and I know in the past. You had a bit of a problem gambling. Oh no, major. Yeah, major. So yeah. tell us how major, where where was your lowest point? Uh, many a time I've done my whole wages in a weekend. Whole wages in a I weekend? I've got this wage in a weekend, yeah. Many on what? Time. Gambling on what? Football. Like, like I'd put under a pound accumulator on or 50 pound accumulator and then that'd go down and then I'd try and chase some money back and I'd maybe have 50 quid of dog or even at some stage I've gone to the casino part of it, done a roulette. It's a bad, gambling is a bad game when you're chasing. If, if you're, if you want to gamble happily, put £10 on the accumulator, leave it at that, watch it, if it loses, chuck it, if it wins, happy day. But that's easier said than done, right? I'm assuming you, you've tried I've to lost, do that many a time. I've probably lost £200,000 in my life. 200 grand? Probably around about 200 grand. And I, and, and, Obviously, we have the Ivan Tony thing with the, with the gambling. Yeah. Bill Wilson's come out and you know told everyone about his his troubles. Why why is it so easy to to gamble? Why to hide? If you're drinking, people can see that you're pissed. If I lose a hundred pound, as long as you can keep it straight, no, you don't no. know what I've lost. I could happily sit. I could be sat here now, putting a football bet on, sitting there, speaking to you. I could be turning the pound down. Within this half hour that I've spoke to you, I could be turning the pound down. If I'm spending turn the pound on drink, oh, yeah, see, no. yeah. you can then maybe help somebody. If if you see someone's got a problem with drink, I can help you. I can you see can it, say, can nah, these can say, I'm not serving you again. Yeah, you've yeah. had too much. You get into that state of gambling. You don't have that inside. You do. But to be fair, it never, never broke. I, I always said it all. The day it hurts me, the day I feel like this, don't do it. Yeah. If, if you put a bet on and you're scared of losing that bet, mm -hmm. don't do it. I was never scared if I put a football bet on or a horse bet. But how did you survive? You, you blew your wages in a weekend. How did you survive? Good with my dad. Right. But I did it when I was with my ex missus. I lost money. I, I once lost Is that what broke you up? No, no, no. no. I lost a rent. I lost a rent once, the whole rent in one weekend, and on, then on random bets. just gambling. I, I, I got paid a few days before, but then I've come to a stage where I used to pay the rent before. But as soon as I got paid, I used to transfer and pay the rent. But it, but do you know what? That's probably the only time it ever hurt me is when 
if I'm hurting other people through it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But do you know what? Gambling makes people lie. It does, because I've lied many a time about it. And you shouldn't. But it's a bad, it's a, it's probably the worst out of any drink or drugs. I'd say. You think it's the worst addiction? By my mind. Have you... Because it... Well, the crack and stuff, maybe. That, that yeah, goes yeah, yeah. with the lifestyle, but... Drink, I'd say gambling is probably... It's worse than drink. A lot worse. And has there ever been a time, Scott, where you have gambled it all away? And I know you say, you know, I wasn't scared of losing it. But you sat at home at night and... I don't know, you broke down or you've... No, no I've never broke down. I've, I've, I've called myself an idiot and spoke to me, you know, end up talking to yourself, but I've never, I've never broke down. Before. So, where did this originate, Scott? My dad, 100%. So my dad's you, always gambled. So do you blame your dad for the way you gambled? No, my granddad, my, my nan was a ground trainer, my granddad used to take my dad to the dogs, he used to gamble. Yeah. From probably the age of... I can't blame my dad because I'm my own person. But that was the influence. It was an influence, yeah. But it's easy. It's easy to blame other people. It's with anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy to blame other people. Yeah. I'm a 34 year old man. If I can't control myself, then that's my fault. Not How many years person. were you gambling? You know, a lot. From 16. From 16 on. But this is what I'm saying. At 16, you are still a kid, right? And you've been. I'm only, I was only very good. Yeah, so that's you, my money. You, you were earning your own money. You were earning your own money. But what was, what, how, when I'm going to go I flip back to your dad just for a sec, your dad, you just don't No, he it. tells me don't, don't do it. He tells yeah, me. He does it, right? He does it, yeah. But, but that's that your, but he, he's your role model. He's not my role model. Nobody, I'm my own role model. He, yeah, I don't look up to anybody. I'm myself, I'm my own person. If I lose a thousand pounds, that's not his fault. That's not your fault. That's not, it's my fault. No one else's fault but me. If I go into a bookmakers, I don't blame them. Okay. Well, I used to work in the bookies. Yeah. I worked in the bookies for six years. The amount of times I used to see people punch a machine or hit a machine because they've lost money. And I'm thinking, it's your fault, not theirs. But, you know, yeah, that's, yeah. that's the way. And like you said about Ivan Tony and Paul Mercer, theirs is, I think a lot of theirs is from boring. Mm. Because they've got nothing else to do. So why did you do it? Because you get the buzz of. Well, you want to get rich quick, kind of high. You want to earn mega money, or not really? If if you'd have hit the jackpot with one bet and ended up winning twenty grand, would you have stopped? No, probably not. So you'd have carried on and carried on. Yeah, I've cut down massively now. Like I said, I do the odd bet now yeah. and then. Yeah. But I don't nowhere near, nowhere near. I just well, not even close to what we used to do. Yeah. Just because I'm going on holidays, I want to go out. There's been many a time where I've gone. Can't come out this weekend, got no money. You know that, you've, yeah, you've, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're coming out, skip, yeah, skip yeah. me. Mm -hmm. So that again, it, it makes you realise that you don't want to live, I'm 34, I don't want to be going, can't even go to the pub mate and have a beer because I've just lost all my money. Yeah, yeah. I work 50 hours a week at work. Yeah. You know, I work 200 hours a month. Yeah, I'm not massively paid, but I get paid enough money to live what to I live. Yeah. If I spend it properly yeah, and, and not know, lose. lose, yeah, because I could come to the pub and spend fifty quid. Yeah, but then I've got a whole knowing. I could put a football, I could put a dog down, lose fifty quid in twenty eight seconds, or one spin on a roulette takes what thirty seconds. Well, we could lose thousands. Well, we. But, I mean, I've, I've had my own little gamble before and. Um, but I'm like a pound of cubits, I'm, I'm small fry. And I can remember one time we were sitting down, I think it was a Jag, we were watching one of our mates lads train, and you showed me your uh, profit and loss kind of sheet thing. And you were scrolling, and I was like, what on earth is going on here? It was absolutely mental, and I was like, why would you do it? And I remember you saying then, it's just, you know, I just, I just do it. And there was no real thought then, but obviously you've, you've kind of changed your mentality a little bit. Now yeah, well, I'm going on holidays, I'm doing stuff, I yeah. want to be able to, enjoy my life. So, so do you not think, it, when you were younger as a kid, yeah. if your dad didn't gamble, do you think you'd have still been a gambler? Uh, not to the extent it was, I don't think. So that's what I'm saying by the influence. I know yeah, you, maybe you it, choose to put the bet on. Yeah, you, you maybe I got the buzz from him. Because I used to do maybe 12, 13 years of age, I used to put my place on a Saturday, 
I'd look at the paper, I'd pick my horses, and I'd sit there and watch them. Yeah. I'd have a five pound foot yeah, run. That's what you watch though, that's what your dad did. Yeah, no, but I, yeah, because he did it, but I used to enjoy my five, as a kid, at 13, I was putting 15, 20 pound football bets on, at 13. I was earning, I used to go to work on a Sunday. Yeah, you, you couldn't do it yourself. No. So that means your no, no. dad allowed you no, to no, do it. No, no, because I used to earn 80 quid on a Sunday, yeah. working for one day on a Sunday market. I used to get up half three in the morning, I finish at four o'clock, and I'd go over to the dogs, I'd go to Coventry Dogs, bet my, bet so, my 80 quid. So from 13 I was gambling at 13. I was going to the, book, the bookmakers were taking my bets at 13. I had a strap bet at the age of 14 years of age. I don't know what that is. It means I didn't even have to have the money on me. They let me put the bet on without any money. Because I was As a bookie? At a bookie in a dog trap. They knew who I was. Wow. They at knew 13? Me, at 14. 14. Yeah. They knew who I was. They knew I'd be there next week. So I had to pay them back next week if it lost. Wow. They knew I'd come back and get another. It was only a 20 pound bet. But they let me put a 20 pound bet on a dog without giving them any money. Then yeah. If it won, they paid me out. If it lost, I'll give them a 20 quid next week. Yeah. So it's like ticking. Like a tick. Yeah. You know, yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. basically, that, that was me. I, well, at 13, one day I went with 80 quid, I've come out of a thousand pounds. Looking back on it now, do you regret all the money you've lost? Oh, millions. I could have a house. 200,000 pounds a house. Do you, th- I know obviously with the I'm telling things, so we're not going to keep diving into but that. But it's, it's not just that, it's ruined my credit rate and it's ruined a lot over the years because of it. So right. it's not just the losing the money. How have you got into debt then through gambling? Never. Right, okay, well, you're not going to do what you want. But banks look at your transactions and what you've got. Oh, right, of you course. Can't, your credit rating drops because of that. Yeah. The only thing I did, well, I said I didn't get in debt. I had a credit card once and I gambled on the credit card. But I paid it back. Yeah. I paid it all back. I weren't in debt because that credit, I used about £500 off the credit card. I had a £1,000 limit. But they charge you extra. Through, because it's actually classed as cash, it isn't classed as bonds. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it, yeah, but that was just stupid. It, yeah, and that was when I was younger. Really. That was trying to chase money you probably lost previously. Yeah. Previously. Um, football is probably the most predominant bet, you'd say. Yeah. So obviously it's it's chucked in your face at every half time break but that's on Super Sunday. Yeah. Do you think do you think the governing bodies are doing enough to stamp it out for people like yourself who have struggled uh, with it with government? No, because it's looking at a shirt. See, sure. see if I see Bet365 on a, on a West Ham shirt yeah. or whatever, yeah. that doesn't influence me to gamble. What influences you then? Just the, the buzz of it? The game? The game that's on. The thing? Yeah, they, they're not going to stop the Premier League. Right, right, right. right. They're not so going to the They're outlier. not ever going to stop the gambling. They're never going to stop putting odds on or something. Like, I look at odds every day to see who's getting transferred. Right. I don't gamble on it. But I look at the odds because bookies know a lot more than you think, and that's an influence to see who's going to where and knowing yeah, what's yeah. doing what. Yeah, so it's no no advertisement. Skybet are the biggest advertisers. They have it at half time of every. Yeah, yeah. Sky Sports own them. They're never going to stop promoting Skybet no, no. half of through. They're paying hundreds of millions of pounds for that. They're going to have that now. Yeah. So saying you can't have it on a T-shirt. But then they're saying the billboards don't matter. It's only on a t-shirt. Right. But you go and watch a game, every billboard will have William Hill. Yeah, because, because the kids can buy the shirts. That's probably what it is. The kids, kids can watch. also watch the TV yeah, 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 and no. see yeah. it pop up yeah. at half time of every game. Yeah. If, if you if you if you are able to create something to I don't know, claw it back a little bit so it wasn't so easily accessible, would you change anything? Or is it always just gonna be there which are acceptable what it is? The problem you've got is the amount of tax bookmakers pay. The government makes so much money out of it. They're never going to stop it. No. It's the same as these people that say, stop horse racing. It's never going to stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's part of the world. That's like saying, stop pubs. Stop selling fags. They're never going to get stopped because the amount of tax that comes off fags, alcohol. Yeah. That keeps this country going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not going to stop. As much as, as much as, yeah, they're addicted. These people are addicted. Yeah. I'm sorry, but if you're addicted, that's your problem. Yeah. yeah. You're the one that's going to have to find help or do something about it. You bet pounds. Why should me being such a big gambler stop you from putting your having your? Just as I gamble a lot more, you enjoy your 
I couldn't do that. Yeah, yeah. So why should I take your fun away from you? You've got it. You know what you all you're spending. Why yeah. should someone like me? The only way to do it is if you yourself ban yourself from gambling. Ban yourself. And is that what you've um, done on the apps? Yeah. You but that's cut all apps. Yeah, cause I'll gamble the only the, the only way you can make a bet now is by going to the monkeys. Or saying to you, I'll put, put some down. When you don't here's work. a tenner. You've got your account. If I'm out in a pub we are, I'll put some tenner down. Yeah, as a tenner. Yeah. If it comes in, transfer me the money as it would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do that. So you've, that. you've massively cut down. Oh yeah, yeah, like I was doing I'd say between eight hundred to a thousand pounds a month. And now you'd be looking Oh, well, this month I've done nothing. Yeah, yeah. But now you'd be lucky if I do. Are you worried about falling back into the trap? No. Or have you got your head now? They're cancelled now, so no. If I go into a bookings, it's, it's and, and where did that Where did that moment come from? What was it that made you think, I have to stop this? Did you, did you go counselling? Did you do anything? No. You just literally sat there one day and thought, I have to change. Just, yeah, well, I lost and then cancelled or blocked all my accounts. I thought, Joe, you know what? In anger. It wasn't, even anger. it wasn't even anger. I just thought, I'm sick of having nothing. I, I, I want to go on these holidays. I want to do this. So as soon as I did it, I booked holiday. Wow. And now I'm going on holiday. I've got three holidays booked. I think. Where are the memories? I could come to the pub for 20, 20 days into payday. I can go and buy myself a beer. I can go and do whatever. Yes. I don't have to worry about, oh, I've got no money. I can't. I'll just have a half a coat. Mate, that, that from, from, from my standpoint, that is a massive mental hurdle that you've overcome because a lot of people can't do that. They need to go and seek help or, you know, they, they lock themselves away from the world for a bit. But you, on your own accord, just thought, I can't do this anymore. I can't keep feeling this way. I did it, yeah, but I did it like two years ago. I lost three and a half stone just because I sat there one day and goes, I can't be out. I'm going to do it again. I will be starting soon. Just sat there. You four stone this time. Yeah, easy. I, I can do it easy because I'm I'm mentally quite strong. Yeah. Whereas if I put myself to something, I'll go. I ain't doing that anymore. Yeah. I'll just stop. It's simple. Why did it take you so long to stop? Uh, probably my mum and dad don't help because they've always looked after me. Yeah. So when I lost, you had an easy life. When I lost my rent, they paid it seven hundred and fifty quid. Just paid it for me. Right. Right. Which is some people wouldn't do that mm-hmm. i'm very lucky if, if i've got them if i had no money mm-hmm. i'd say more money to them which is giving me as long as i pay them back so the easy lifestyle that you had for some people the easy support network you had yeah and going to not care about losing it yeah right, right which is probably a good thing and a bad thing it's a good thing that i've got supported parents yeah that way and a bad thing that they were supported because yeah, yeah. they they made me they made it, uh, yeah. Yeah, it, made, it allowed you to do what you did but you never know. Like, like I said, maybe one day I do. Well, I'm never gonna have an account, but maybe one day I do go and lose two hundred fifty quid. Yeah. I do it once. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I do it every month. Then it yeah, does. Because right. everyone's lost big money. Yeah. I don't, wow. I'll know it. I'll I'll work to the bookies. So I see it. Maybe working the bookies doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like an alcoholic working in the pub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're in the place that I was involved, involved yeah, seeing, yeah. seeing all the sports, seeing all the odds, seeing everything. And it got you in, yeah. And it, yeah. I did gamble when I was in pockets. I used to sit there and I'd put, some, uh, I'd put a horse bet on for the day to watch, because I'm at work, getting paid to watch my horses. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, you yeah. know, maybe that was a bad decision for me to go and work in the pockets. So you got a money mate, so it's what it is, isn't it? Yeah. But that, money, probably, yeah, but that money was going back into them. Back into them. <laughs> they, were, they, were, they were loving it when you got in, they got a job. But it's like, mate, I fully, fully appreciate you opening up about that. I mean, I, I wouldn't have imagined it would have been easy to talk about because it was probably a, a not a troubled time in your life, but a time where you've probably been at a low point mentally and you've overcome it. But like I said, I'm quite a strong moment, so stuff like that doesn't bother me. If there is any people out there that do gamble, yeah. do, do it to. Try and stop. Try and give yourself that breather. Even if you have to stop for three months, because you can do it. Stop for three months. After that three months, if you think, do you know what? I've now, I don't want to gamble no more. I've got, look how much more money I've got. Do it. And then you'll see it changes your life. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fully appreciate it, mate. Top no problem. Thank you. Thank you.